<laughs> Afmel, are you sure about this place? <laughs> of course! Caitlin, this island is perfect for finding out more about Lady Irene. Not that. I mean, did we really want to settle down in this spot? Uh, it doesn't look that great to me. Honestly, I think we could have picked out something better. <laughs> Weren't you and Travis the ones who picked out this spot when we first got here? That's right. I did find the spot when we came here. Mm-hmm. And Travis? Yes. Travis as well. I guess. <laughs> I like Travis. I think he's really nice. Huh? What? Yeah, he's been an absolute doll whenever I see him. You can't be serious. I am. He's helped me quite a bit with chores on the ship, from cooking to cleaning. Uh, you know, Isabel, you don't have to do those things. Oh, but I insist. I love cooking and cleaning and pretty much anything that has to do with housework. Uh, call me old-fashioned, but I've always wanted to be a housewife. Sounds boring. Uh, Caitlin! <laughs> well, I like boring. <laughs> Isabel, it sounds nice. If it makes you happy, then we are happy for you. Thanks! I just like simple things. I honestly don't see myself ever wielding a sword like you ladies. I'd rather just roll around in babies and puppies. <laughs> that sounds... Wow, that sounds awesome. Uh, which reminds me, Isabel... Thank you so much for taking care of Lilith while Aaron and I were away, and also for taking care of my pups too. You don't have to thank me, Afmal. I love looking after her, and the puppies are just icing on the cake. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I feel a little lost since Aaron's looking after her right now. Mm, right. You know, Isabel, I feel like this is a little forward asking you this question, but now that I know how you feel about watching her, I've been meaning to ask you. There will be times when both Aaron and I will have to be away, and we can't bring Lilith Garnett with us. What are you saying? What I'm trying to say is, would you be willing to care for Lilith whenever duty calls for us, or should Aaron and I never need to leave the island? I know it's asking a lot, but we would really appreciate it. Uh, don't be silly! Of course I will! I'm more than happy to! Thank you for asking me. I'm glad I can be useful in some way. I mean, I know I'm not strong like you or Caitlin, and I don't have any magic like Lucinda. Uh, it's... That doesn't mean you aren't useful, Isabel. You have been a big help to us. Even if you aren't putting yourself into danger, you being here is just such a big help. Don't think that we've ignored that. Afmao is right. You are valuable to us more than you know. Thanks, you two. I always wanted to have a family of my own. I just wish I were stronger. Maybe, maybe things would have, wouldn't have turned out like they did back. That's ridiculous. Uh, Caitlin. Uh, if you're about to talk of your past, nothing about that was your fault. Thank you, Caitlin. Uh, I'm not finished. There's more you need to know. You are plenty strong, Isabel. Taking care of a baby is, is a tremendous responsibility. There are so many things beyond your control. It's terrifying. You're stronger than me, at the very least. I'm sorry if I offended you earlier. <laughs> she smiles bright. Caitlin. <laughs> uh, what was that noise? Ah. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> At least they're persistent. You'd think the two of them would just give up already. It'd be sad if it weren't so funny to watch. <laughs> I'm gonna go see how they're doing. <laughs> Good idea. It's a miracle they haven't gotten themselves killed. Isabel, why don't you go with her? I'm going to take stock out of our supplies. Mm. Right. Speaking of... Uh... We're going to need to restock soon. 
Afmel, things are starting to get low. Wait, what? Already? Well, at least on food. Hmm. Well, that is important. I I'll see what I can do. Come on, Isabel. Let's go see how those boys are doing. They're in the forest. Caitlin, we'll be back later. Gah! What? That was too close. Whew. Yeah, it was. Uh, Isabel? Hey, do you see them? Oh, there they are. Hey, boy! Shh! Isabel. Shh. Don't you want to check on them? <laughs> Let's just enjoy the show for now. <laughs> Shh. By Enki, who knew that building a simple house was going to be this hard? Agreed. I've seen houses built before, but I never realized just how hard it was to start from scratch. Now I see why certain chicken shamans try to con people into doing it for them. Say what? Nothing. Forget about it. <laughs> We have no idea what we're doing, do we? <laughs> Honestly, it's a miracle one of us hasn't died yet. It certainly is. If I knew it was going to be this risky, I'd have let you do this on your own. Then why did you even volunteer to help? And risk letting you be the only manly one here? Forget about it. Look, Lawrence, ladies go wild over tough, rugged, buildery guys. This was going to be my chance to impress all those fine ladies on the island. <laughs> Travis. What? I'm serious. I needed a reason to take off my shirt in front of the gals. Did you see the way they all looked at me when I revealed my rock-hard abs? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw Caitlin and Lucinda walking away without even noticing. Lawrence, come on. A couple of hot guys like us building? What lady can resist? I bet there are a couple of ladies hiding in the bushes right now waiting to pounce on us. <gasps> Dream on. Uh, okay. Uh, Isabel? Uh, is that true, Avmel? Are we going to pounce on them? Uh, Isabel? No. I mean, you can if you want. Like that. I, 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 I. Well, hello there. Like, oh my gosh, Mother of Irene, you scared me, Travis. Oh, you ladies were taking forever to pounce. No, 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 Travis, it's not like that. We, we just wanted to see how you guys were doing. While hiding in the bushes. Isabel, let me take care of this. We were just enjoying the show. See? What did I tell you, Lawrence? Of idiots. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> uh, come on. This is like your seventh attempt at building a house. You guys have been screaming and falling and... I don't even know what this thing is! What? It's our pride and joy. Look at the craftsmanship on this... thing. This is the thing, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I give. Afmal, forgive me for stating the obvious, but we're going to need some help here. Lawrence is right. We are not cut out to be builders. Just look at these hands. They're meant for holding hips, not hammers. Okay, ignore that last thing he said. But Travis is right. I think we'll need to bring in someone more experienced with this kind of work. Hmm. That's a good point, Lawrence. Though your building speaks for itself. <laughs> I really don't want to think about what our fort would look like if you guys were left in charge of the building. It would look amazing. Obviously. This door doesn't even fit me, Lawrence. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I'm glad that I was... Kind of almost scared for a moment, until I picked up on your sarcasm. Anyway, have either of you seen Lucinda? I haven't seen her all morning. Oh yeah, she came back from the forest a bit ago. I called out to her, but she wasn't paying attention. Seemed like she was looking for something. 
Is that what you were doing when you were supposed to be setting those planks? What? I can't help it. Uh, you expect me to ignore a beautiful woman? That's just inhumane! Besides, building is kind of boring. It's not really my thing. <laughs> hey, Lawrence. Uh, what is Vlad up to? Hmm? <laughs> oh, he's trying to get a small garden set up. Hmm. Said it's important for the future of the settlement. I see. Then I'm gonna go see what he's doing. Hopefully he's having more success than we are. <laughs> Let me know if you need any help. Otherwise, we'll be here trying to make Travis useful. <laughs> okay, Lawrence. Try not to get yourself hurt. If his shirt is off, he isn't doing it right! Uh, shut up, Travis. <laughs> uh, what? I'm just trying to give her advice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isabel, mother of Irene. <laughs> you too. Isabel, um... Do you want to stay here? Afma, I'm gonna head back to see if Caitlin needs my help. Let me know if I can help anymore. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and go find Vlad. I actually think I saw him over here earlier, so... See you later, Isabel. <sighs> Let's see... I'm sure Isabel will be okay. I just need to make sure... Ah, here he is. Hey! Oh, <laughs> there's a little something. Hi, Vlad. Hi, Afma. Lauren says you're working on a garden? I'm trying to, at least. I've only done this a few times, so I'm really no expert. <laughs> Don't let that get you down. You're giving your hand at this, and honestly, I really appreciate you for that. It's just a little daunting. Farming takes a lot of work, and it's one of the most important things for any village. A lot of thought needs to go into something like this. And since I don't have any experience, I don't see my efforts going anywhere. Hmm. Well, I mean, Vlad, I don't think we can do this on our own. We have to at this point, don't we? Unless you have some kind of magical growing crop in your bag there. Uh, not exactly. But I do have a better idea. And it involves a little bit of magic. Uh, have you seen Lucinda? I have not. Though I did see her earlier wandering around, but at the moment I know not where she currently is. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go take a look around for her. And go check on Lilith. I'll be back, Vlad. Take care, okay? <sighs> You're welcome. Hmm. Maybe I should ask her about getting a cow from the ship. Bah, I'll ask later. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go check the camp. Um, there's a cow right there. <sighs> Vlad. <laughs> uh, and how are you two doing today? Ah, hey. We're just enjoying the day. And the occasional swearing from Lawrence. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be him. <laughs> I'm surprised you can hear that from here. Yeah, I don't think Lawrence wants to be Lawrence right now, either. <laughs> so, I asked Isabel if she could look after Lilith every once in a while. Good. What did she say? <laughs> She'd love to. She absolutely adores Lilith. <laughs> we all do. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm just glad that we all want to do something for her, and that everyone wants to help. If anyone deserves to have a happy life, it's this little one here. Mm -hmm. You're right. So let's do what we can to make sure that happens. Agreed. I'll be here with you. <laughs> Am I interrupting something special? Uh, <laughs> Lucinda! Just the person I was looking for! Are you sure about that? You both seem rather... Preoccupied. <laughs> We're always busy when it comes to Lilith. <laughs> but yes, I do need to talk to you. It's about getting back to Phoenix Drop using your portal. Ah, I knew you were going to bring this to my attention soon. <laughs> well, um, 
Is it possible to do that sooner rather than later? Why don't you come with me then? Mm, right. Uh, Aaron? Um, I'll be back later. Um, again, thank you so much. Anyone ever tell you, you say thank you too much? <laughs> Not once. Until now, that is. Didn't think so. See you later. <sighs> Try to keep up, will you? It's not much further. <sighs> Where are we going, Lucinda? <sighs> hmm. Almost. Aha! Huh? What? What do you mean? Aha. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Here. Uh... Okay? I don't get it. Oh, Bathmau, dear. Of course you don't get it. What? Uh... Okay. Let me see... <gasps> what the... This is the answer to your request. What the... What is this thing? It's a ley line. Wh what? Oh my gosh! Jeez, where did you come from, Travis? I, uh, I don't understand what's going on. Where did you come from? <sighs> it's a place for teleportation, sweetheart. Um, we can now get to Phoenix Drop whenever we want. Lucinda, that's fantastic! Uh, your timing couldn't be any better. After talking to everyone, it's clear that we're going to need a lot of help making this place home. And I can't think of any people better than our old friends. But next time, do you guys think that maybe you could explain this to me in, like, less mystical terms? <laughs> it's a little bit to take in. And maybe not sneak up on me? That'd be great. I would have told you sooner had we not been so rudely interrupted. Uh, hey, I can't help that. Two beautiful women walking alone into the woods. Anything could happen here. It just isn't safe. Uh, we're perfectly capable of looking out for ourselves, Travis. Isn't there some construction you should be getting crushed under right about now? That can be arranged. As long as I get to look at you, Lucinda, I'm all for getting crushed. <laughs> Travis. Don't worry, Aphmau. Uh... Uh...